Hello friends. Good morning. Happy spring. Today's the first day of spring. Thank God. I'm so ready for warmer weather. Are you ready for warmer weather? Put that in the chat for me. It was like 30 degrees this morning, scraping ice off the windshield when I was taking my son to school this morning. So ready for warmer weather. Who is ready for warmer weather? Put that in the chat for me. Who is ready for spring? Oh my goodness. I love spring. Now, what I want to talk to you about today is the Bible verse, for when I am weak, then I am strong. We are what we think, and 80% of our success is our mindset. And when we, you know, and when in conversations, it comes up that the person failed at this and they failed at that, and then they assume that as their identity, it breaks my heart because failure is never an, a, in an identity. Okay, failure is never an identity. It is an event. Okay, when you do something and some event, you fail. Okay, you failed at that, but that does not define you as a failure. When you try again and you fail, you just didn't achieve the results that you wanted at that particular point in time. That doesn't make you a failure. We go back at it until we figure it out. And if we and if we don't quit, no matter how long it takes, no matter how many times, when we keep going after it with the intention that we're going to achieve this, then we will. Don't remind yourself of how many times you fail. Remind yourself that you have never given up and that you will not give up. Because the only difference between you and the people that are successful, the people that you see that are successful, is that they have failed more times than you. So think of it like this, the more I fail, the closer I get to reaching my goals. We all have these negative thoughts and they tell our brain a story and all of our outside circumstances tell our brain a story and we get to choose how we interpret these thoughts and these feelings. Hard times will come, challenging times will come, negative self-doubt will come and we don't have control over those things, but we do have control over how we interpret them. So we can listen to all the negative thoughts or we can remember what God's word says. We get to choose. And many of the things that we experience in life, good or bad, they start in the mind. Our thoughts lead us to the life that we will live. Empowering thoughts lead us to empowering living. And unfortunately, thoughts of failure will lead to failure as well. So I want to challenge you today to get out your Bibles. Don't take my word for it. Read it for yourself. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10, says, Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Let that really sink in. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So if, you, so if your life, you know, your life is a choice. God gives you the opportunity to choose. Negative thoughts come to us all. It doesn't matter how good of a person you are or how much faith you have. The key is to focus on the scripture. One of my favorite go-to scriptures is 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. In 2 Corinthians 10 and 5, says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. In Romans 12 and 2, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And Ephesians 4 and 23, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. That means if you meditate on anxious, bitter, hopeless thoughts, you're going to set your life in that direction. But if you choose to think hope-filled, God-honoring, confident thoughts, you will be amazed at what will happen. And if we identify destructive thoughts to avoid and focus on the promise-filled truths from Scripture, truths that remind you of who you are in Christ and the exceeding abundant good plan that God has for you, we can turn, I'm not going to have enough, into God will provide everything I need. We can turn, I'm scared I will fail, into because God is with me, I have nothing to fear. We can turn, I'm 
never going to be successful into God is going to make my dreams come true. Okay, living a life of prayers answered, new seasons of joy, new opportunities, and greater favor is a life that is not only starts with God thoughts, but it also is one that is preserved and protected by God's promises. Okay, so breakthrough upon breakthrough, that is, that is what God has for us as his children. Remember, we are what we think, and I really believe that God's word has the power to transform your thinking and your life. So remember, for when I am weak, then I am strong. So have hope that it's necessary, have faith that it's possible, and get faith in taking action with faith. Nothing changes if nothing changes. Life is now. Be blessed.